All right, Shalom. 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 All right, we're a few brothers from the Great Millstone Atlanta Church coming back at you with another lesson. But uh, before, first and foremost, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mill, Millstone who well. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing this truth. The truth of sincerity. I'm the brother I know. I'm the brother Zakaria. I'm the brother Yadai. And like I said, we're a few brothers uh, from the GMS Atlanta Church coming back at you with the uh, topic of prophecy because that's what's jumping off the pages uh, now. All right. And um, we're going to get into an article. But we're the but basically, we're at the end of the age of Esau Edom. And uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh basically gave the disciples, later the apostles, uh, basically what's going to happen at the end of this man's rule. So we're going to get into it uh, for the sake of prophecy, and uh, Lord willing, you be edified. So we're going to start off in uh, uh, Matthew 24, chapter. Start at um, verse 3. Come. This is Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? So the end of the world, there's three different types of world in the New Testament. You have Eon, which is A-I-O-N, uh, which is the end of an age. They're talking about the end of Esau's age. You have Cosmos, which is a uh, harmonious arrangement that pertains to the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanic Native Americans. Then you have Winkamine, which refers to the whole inhabited world. So this is referring to uh, Eon, which is A-I-O-N, which is the end of an age. So the disciples are, are asking what is going to be the end of the age, the end mm -hmm. of the age of Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. Con, I'm going to continue in verse 4, Matthew 24 and 4. It reads, it says, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, mm -hmm. and shall deceive many. That's right. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, and that's what we get into. Wars and rumors of wars. Now, if you've been under a rock, Okay, just to bring you up to date, basically, uh, Ukraine is in NATO, and Russia is not with that. Okay, Russia is not in NATO. Okay, but all these countries surrounding them are in NATO, and they're going to fight over the area known as uh, Crimea, and they're going to go. In, they were going to go into Ukraine, but as the article suggests, all right, they they back they backed out on it. That goes into the uh, the uh, uh, wars. And rumors of wars, an indication of where we're at in this current time period. We know that we're at, we're at the end when we see these certain things happen. So we've got an article uh, that the brother's going to read, and we're just going to further go into it. <clears throat> yep. So this is um from CNN.com, and it's entitled "Russia Pulls Back Troops After Massive Buildup Near Ukraine Border." It's uh from CNN Moscow. It says. Russia appeared to be pulling back from a confrontation with the, with the West on Friday as state media reported that troops were returning to their bases after taking part in exercises near the border with Ukraine and in Crimea. A buildup of Russian troops along the border in recent weeks had reignited tensions in eastern Ukraine, where government forces have battled Russian-backed separatists demanding independence from Kiev since 2014. But on Thursday, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Sogu suddenly declared that, that the troops had completed their drills in the south of the country near Ukraine and Crimea and will return to their permanent bases by May 1st. I believe that the objectives of the SNAP drill have been fully achieved. The troops have demonstrated the ability to provide a reliable defense of the country, Sogu said. At a meeting in Crimea, which Russian, which which Russia annexed from Kiev in 2014, and um, you see, uh, you know, like like these um, these high level politicians, high level politicians are going into, you know, these are uh, um, war drills. You see, what I'm saying this is this was a drill in which, you know, uh, um, 
these 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 countries and governments they they do these things one to to uh, get their troops and their soldiers prepared and to keep them sharp, but also to see how uh, uh, others around them will react. You know, going into the wars and rumors of wars. You see, uh, um, you know, even as far as Crimea, you know, uh, uh, the annexation you know, of certain areas. Uh, Crimea and uh, going into Ukraine and these other uh, um, uh, smaller nations, they're, they they um, are preparing ultimately for World War Three. Okay, as written in uh, the Book of Revelation. All right, but um, these these smaller wars, these proxy wars, the rumors of wars, they're ultimately going to lead to the uh, uh, the the war of all wars, the war to end all wars, being ultimately World War Three. Um, continuing with on, it says at present military units and formations are marching to railway stations, airfields, loading onto loading onto landing ships, railway platforms, military transport aircraft. Task reported on Friday, citing the Ministry of Defense. Shogu's announcement came weeks after Moscow initiated the largest buildup of troops near the Ukrainian border since 2014. You see, so this was the largest uh, mobilization of troops. In the last seven years, you see what I'm saying, and 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 one thing uh, to take note of as well is how certain uh, uh, politicians and government leaders, how uh, especially <coughs> foreign leaders, how they react and what they do when it comes to transition transitional governments of administration. As far as you know, uh, previously, you know, going back to the early 2000s, you had uh, George Bush, then you had Barack Obama, then you had uh, Donald Trump. Now you have um, Joe Biden and uh, Kamala Harris. They want to see how these uh, uh, these individuals uh, react, which goes like like the brother said, it lines up perfectly with prophecy. But it goes into not only the wars, as far as the small wars uh, and the rumors of and uh, uh, the proxy wars, but also the rumors of wars because these are things that are happening. Like I said, they're not doing this for for no reason, and that's what get into the argument we're going to see as well. That they also um, yes, they move the people, but they also left. In place, uh, uh, certain military uh, equipment that can be used, activated later at the drop of a dime. Mm-hmm. Everybody got anything? You got something, bro? Can I, I got that. Um, <laughs> I got that Joel three. This is um Joel three, and I'm just starting from the top. It says, "For behold, in those days, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem." I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. See, so that, that's the true justice. You know, in this week, see, the men of the Lord are focused on prophecy. World War III, the MOB, things of that nature where most of our people focus on this Derek Chauvin case. All right, the true justice is us being in captivity, Judah and Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, being here in North, Central, South America, the Lord pleading, judging for us in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. So he's going to bring all these nations that had us in captivity from shit, judges all the way up until now. All right, He's going to plead, he's going to judge these other nations and bring them into the Valley of Jehoshaphat. That's why this is where the wars and rumors of wars is going to. There's an end game with this World War Three, and as you can hear in the background, you got Jake uh, shooting off fireworks, and that's mm-hmm. what's going to happen, man. If fire is going to happen, man, you know, during World War Three, man, with these uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. So this is when you hear the wars and rumors of wars, don't get comfortable, man, because it's coming, man. You know, like like the scriptures say in uh, Habakkuk, man, it, it shall it shall surely come. It's not going to tarry, man. Come, all right. I got that word. Um uh, Yahweh Shapat, okay? It's, it means um, Yahweh has judged, mm-hmm. okay? And that's what he's ultimately going to do. He's going to come back to judge, all right? And everything is going to be a, a, a righteous judgment, all right? Him coming back in his wrath and his anger to, to, to send these missiles over here, put the spears on the missiles, etc. Everything is his judgment, man. It's righteous judgment mm-hmm. because it was it's a prophecy, man, all right? And this is why it's important, you know, for the prophets to... To tell you people these things to let you guys know what's up and what's about to happen. Mm-hmm. Because like the brother was going into, and that, there it is again. It's the spirit, okay? Hey, it's going to be destruction coming to America, man. That's right. All right, which is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. Mm-hmm. 
All right, and um, that's all. I, that's all I had on that. I got a quick precept for you at the Joel three. Uh, this is Jeremiah fifty. I'm gonna start at verse. Uh, start at verse thirty three. Jeremiah fifty and thirty three. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. You see what I'm saying? And like the brother said, as far as the importance of um, you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, establishing and raising the prophets to go to be able to go into the scriptures and to, uh, to break down the prophecies and the, and, and the writings of the book to make it so it can be understood. Okay, because it's important for uh, uh, the, the hearer and the listener to take heed to what's going on, because you know the, the time is short, man. Okay, the the windows and the and the, um, the period of grace is, uh, is is surely closing. You see, what I'm saying like like brother said, you know, uh, you know, we hear a great millstone beginning with our apostles and elders going on down to the leadership of these camps of our uh, uh, particular camps. Man, they are uh, uh, the spirit is is heavy on our leadership for us to really continue to delve into the scripture, continue to delve into the prophecies, to understand it at a deeper level, to bring it out to the here. You see, what I'm saying even going to the book of Joel when it speak when it speaks about um read, read uh Joel three and one again, Papa kind of. In which when you continue in a chapter, we're not we're not going to read the whole chapter for the sake of time. But when you can, when you read the whole chapter. There's uh, uh, signs and, and, and uh, prophecies that show that we're in these last days, including the uh, captivity of, uh, of Israel as a whole, all 12 tribes in which we've all been brought to, to the, 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 the West, the West, okay, the, the, the Western Hemisphere, and we've all been oppressed together under the, the helm and the rulership of Edom Esau. Read that first verse, Bob Michelle. Yeah. This is Joel 3 and verse 1. For, behold, in those days... And that time when I shall see, so like you see, in those days and that time, you see what I'm saying? That the, the, those days, uh, including us being oppressed together, uh, tying that with Jeremiah, with Jeremiah 50, um, tying it with Jeremiah 50, we know that we're in in these in in, in these times, okay, in in these days, in the, in the last the last days, man. Okay, continue. Come, I'm gonna continue in verse one. It says. Well, I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I will also gather all nations. Can like, we the last part again? Con. Then you can continue. Con. Um, That's the last part of that first verse. Con it says, um, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. See, when the Most High shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. You see what I'm saying? We're tying this with Jeremiah 50. Okay, because this is the land, this is the time, okay, in which we've all been oppressed together. All 12 tribes have been oppressed here in America. That's right. And, and you know, the Western Hemisphere, uh, uh, North America, South America, the Caribbean Islands, you know, the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the Caribbean Islands, we've all been oppressed together. You see, so it's, it's important for, um, not only for the, the, the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in which, you know, we hope and pray that we're counted in that number. It's not, it's not only important for us to continue to get into the scriptures and understand the prophecies and be able to bring it out, you know, the best that we can to, to, to uh, uh, make it clear before the people. But it's mm -hmm. also important that, that everyone take heed to the message that's coming coming by way of uh, uh, of particular men, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to this next verse, and then y'all brothers got it. Okay. Um, Jeremiah 15 and 34. Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh host is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their case that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Boom. Just even <laughs> out here. You see what I'm saying? We just trying to, you know, do our part and, you know, and, and uh, 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 keep things tight, okay? Understand that our Lord, Yahweh uh, Shah, is soon to return, okay? And just in the in the sense of us trying to do this lesson, it's, just, it's, just a, it's an important message, man. Okay, we're speaking about geopolitical events, uh, 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 Moves and 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 exercises being set up for World War Three, and you got Jake popping fireworks for for no good goddamn reason other right. than it's a little warm outside today, man. Right. You see, and 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 no, we're not gonna we're not gonna feel no uh uh, uh no type of way when you how about Shimia was shot, put these niggas to death. Exactly. Okay, because all they all they want to do is party and bullshit and do whatever the fuck they see on TV that Edom Esau you know uh, mm -hmm. pushes before they face. And they just eat it up, man. Yeah. Okay, now you're considering the times. 
Not even uh, considering that uh, the prophets of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai being raised up. Not even considering that they and their people are living in a system of oppression, man. Right. You see? So when all these things come to pass and uh, Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai removes his men and his servants uh, uh, from the from the streets, the highways and byways and, and puts those men in seclusion until, uh, uh, until the return of our Lord. Amen. The blood is off our hands. At that point, the blood is officially on your hands. It's going to be on you. You're going to be on your head through way of your how about Shemiah and Shai's judgment, man. That's right. That was good. I got something right quick. This is uh, Luke 21, verses uh, 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. Two thirds of our people, it's gonna hit you off guard. The scriptures talk about talk about the leak. I mean, the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Excuse me, getting too ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. But the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. These people are too bent on partying and getting drunk and lighting fireworks. And hey, in this city and other cities on Friday night, we're focusing on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the majority of our people focus on partying and bullshit. And, and if I can say real quick, that's why scriptures say that uh, to be circumspect, man. Okay, to to be sober. Okay, mm -hmm. to to uh, <clears throat> to gird up your loins. You see, just don't don't be in this in this in in that spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, understand that we are in serious times. Okay, that, that the time is short. Mm -hmm. That really, to the best of your ability, you want to maximize your time to do what you believe will be profitable in the spirit. Do you have downtime? Y yes. Okay, because the, the searching of these parables and these mysteries, it does get to a point that becomes worrisome to the flesh. But at the same time, man, hey, uh, uh, attack your salvation in a sense, man. Mm -hmm. And as you just land back on what you were saying, brother, all the chariot sites, okay? Right. Even you have, what, the, the, Pen the Pentagon coming out with different footage, just basically just telling the whole world flat out, look, we don't know what technology they got, etc., all these things will just come to pass, okay? Of course, hey, we open up with the rumors of wars, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, these things are playing out. So it's really not a good thing to be in that spirit. Right. Bumping music, and I, which I don't know why Jay doing that and having the grills out, you know. See, there's a time for everything. There's a time and right. a place for it. Okay? Yeah. But in these times that we're living in, all these spiritual signs, it's like, Jake gotta gotta just look up and be like, man, what's going on, and just do some research or something. Niggas okay. like that ain't gonna make it, man. Yeah, right. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like this, this is just more and more evidence that that the Most High Yahweh Shai is presenting before us life and death. Okay, mm -hmm. you can either take heed to the warning and the message because at the end of the day, when the Most High continues to bring His judgment down, just even like the uh, the the, the Sharvin case, man. Yeah, you see him that that same exact day you had a a a, 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 a young. Knife blade wooden a nigga woman get put to death, man. Got got four hot slugs put in her chest. Yeah. And automatically what what the majority of our people say, especially the women. Also travesty, man. Why you gotta shoot her four times? Why didn't he t No. Mm -hmm. She could have she could have put somebody to death. Right. She she saw the the, the, the lights come, the, the police come. But no, in her in her rage, in her blood thirst, she wanted to do some damage to the to an individual, which we don't know the whole story. But it just goes to show you that our people aren't taking heed to the message that Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, nor are they considering or measuring the times, man. Just don't be in that spirit. That's mm -hmm. right. All right, Luke 21 and 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. And here's the point, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Because it's going to be a whole lot worse than uh, uh, George Floyd and Derek, the Derek Chauvin case. All right, and, and, and they just shot it on the uh, the day after they shot that uh, 16 year old. Mm -hmm. They shot a guy in Elizabeth City, uh, North Carolina. Okay, like I said, we don't know the whole story, but it seems like the narrative is Jake keep running away. Jake don't want to uh, uh, submit to the authorities. Hey, I'm, hey I'm, I'm, you know, Jake don't want to do all that. Jake want to run away from the situation, but in the long run. We got uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 coming up. Jacob's trouble. Where they're going to start labeling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as terrorists. Look what's going on with this uh, whole uh, Asian uh, hate thing. Yep. Who's the face of that, Jake? Who, who, who do they pin on that? A so-called black man. So you got a whole lot more troubles coming for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in a few 
cops shooting you down? What happens when they send the military in? What happens when they send the uh, foreign troops that don't speak no English? You know, so what are you going to do then? You, you can't take heed to the word because the feed going to get cut off, man. Because the word ain't in you. Right. I got, you got more on that? That's it on that. I get a quick one. Time. This is um, Matthew 5 and 25. Agree with, and this is Yahweh Shah, it's the red letters. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. And you see, because, because, Jake ain't even getting to the word, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's one thing, too, that uh, uh, the, 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 the spirit is heavy on brush. Just continue, continue to read. Just continue to read. Continue to study. Continue to just, just delve deeper, man. You know what I'm saying? Really, that's it. Get, try your best to, to, to understand the scriptures and the prophecies to the best of your ability, man. This is going to be the, the, the stability of our times, man. You see what I'm saying? The strength of our salvation is our fundamental knowledge of, of what the uh, uh, Yahweh Shah has given us. See, Jake can't even measure the times to understand that the world is gearing up for World War III. Brothers speaking about chariots and, and the science, stuff like that. They have created a whole new branch of the government called the Space Force. Right. It was there preparing to, to uh, fight in, in, in the heavens with each other and these other nations and trying to, you know, uh, uh, prepare for nuclear war. They're also preparing to, f to fight our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the angels and the chariots in the heavens, man. Cause it's, and we and we can confidently say that because that's all also recorded in the scriptures by way of prophecy, man. But if Jake can't can't understand the importance of, of, of measuring the times and understanding where they and we and the country and everything is in the midst of the big scope of prophecy, you don't even understand simple things as agreeing with your adversary quickly. Right. So then when you get pulled over for doing some nigga shit, you want to run and, and squirm and do all this stuff instead of saying, you know what, hey. I understand that this this person is my adversary. I understand that he has a certain level of authority right now. I must utilize wisdom in order to, to do my best to get out of the situation. Jake is too proud and too stubborn and too hard-headed and stiff-necked to understand the valuable thing that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah has given us by way of these holy scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, uh, we got any more in that article? Yeah, I'm going to uh, push through it. I'm, I'm going to get through it quick. Um, yeah, man. The team on it says it was unclear from Thursday to, from Thursday's announcement announcement how many troops would remain in the region. Can you do it, bro? More than ten thousand servicemen and twelve hundred units of weapons and military equipment took part in the SNAP inspection, according to TASS. Ukrainian military officials told CNN earlier this month they estimate an extra fifty thousand Russian troops had gathered in recent weeks across the Russian-Ukraine border and in Crimea. The European Union put the figure even higher, estimating on Tuesday that more than 100,000 troops had amassed near the border and in Crimea. So you had, it spoke of 10,000 servicemen, 1,200 units and weapons, 50,000 Russian troops, up to 100,000 troops, man. You see, these countries, these governments are truly, truly, truly preparing themselves to go to war, man. Mm -hmm. Bang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They're truly doing this. And the thing about it is, these Americans, they're, they've been caught up to sleep so much, okay, by uh, uh, their master, Edom Esau, the so-called white man, that they don't even understand. They're not even taking heat to prophecy to understand that, that the virgin daughter of Babylon will be touched. There will be uh, uh, high levels of conflict and uh, uh, um, warfare that will occur on American soil, man. That's you right. see? Uh, I'm getting a little bit more than when we close it out with this. Um, it says, State Department spokesperson Ned Price on Thursday acknowledged Russia's announcement saying that the U.S. would continue to closely monitor the situation with Ukrainian officials and other allies, but added, what we'll be looking for is action. He said, what we'll be looking for is action. Mm. They're looking for the, the, first bullet, the first bullets and shots to get popped off, so to speak, man. That's what they say when you see the whites of their eyes. <laughs> They're looking for that that action to go on there and do the and do the damn thing, man. That's right. You didn't have um, uh, American bombers fly over certain uh, 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 air spaces in which they've been intercepted and uh, 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 monitored by Russian aircraft. You got uh, uh, China continuing to build in the South China Sea. 
preparing for that war in the Pacific. You got uh, Russian submarines all over the seas, in the Pacific and Atlantic, man. Right. It's it's getting ready to go down, man. Okay. And the thing about it is, once once this thing starts, it's gonna ramp up super super quickly, man. And um, this last paragraph, and then we close out with this article. It says, we have made clear in our engagement with the Russian government that it needs to refrain from escalatory actions and immediately cease all its aggressive actions in and around Ukraine, including its recent military buildup in occupied Crimea and on Ukraine's border and its and its intention to block specific vessels in the parts of the Black Sea, Price said at a briefing Thursday. And like I said, this just goes perfectly with those wars and rumors of wars. Because you have these high level, high level government officials, they're doing certain things, one to prepare and and get them, keep the keep get themselves and get their certain troops and, and armament ready and in, in, uh, uh, in position. Then you have them also uh, keeping their 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 men and the service men, service women sharp and, and and always in the mindset of ready, ready to go to drop of a dime. You see what I'm saying? And they're also seeing how these other uh, governments and countries react off of these movements. This is, this is it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 not a matter of if; it's only a matter of when. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. So uh, you want to get into Ezekiel 38? John, um, want me to start? Throw something to top? Yeah, we'll start at the top. John, <clears throat> Ezekiel 38, in verse one, it says, "And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of." Meshach and Tabal and prophesy against them so like it, and prophesy against him. And that's talking about uh the Russians. But before that, who was in that land? The Japhites, man. Um but <clears throat> you know the, the Edomites pushed the Japhites out, start taking on the customs of the land. So that land right now is occupied by the uh, Edomites, which you know as uh the Russians today. John. Verse three it says, And say, Thus saith the Lord power. Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tabal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, mm -hmm. even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them and then on swords. No. When it says to turn thee back, it, it means that the Lord is going to put the spirit on these Russians to go back into that USSR spirit. Because mm -hmm. in 1991, the Russian Federation was formed. But before that, you had uh, Gorbachev, you had the USSR, which is the, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. So they're going to go back into the old communist spirit. And they're getting away from the philosophies of America because mm -hmm. uh, Elder Yashawam did a lesson about a couple weeks ago where... They're outlawing, outlawing that alphabet, alphabet lifestyle. You know what I'm talking about. Man versus man, mm -hmm. woman and woman. They're getting rid of that in Russia. They're getting rid of these transformers uh, having rights. But here in America, they're having full rights. So they're, get, they're, they're getting away from the philosophies of America. But they're going to go back into that cold Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin spirit, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, it talks about, um, it talks about um, that army of horsemen and horses and horsemen. Uh, clothed with swords of armor, even a great company with shields and bucklers. That's, that's talking about those weapons that they have, man. Because, hey, I was looking up yesterday uh, on my phone. I had a video that I put in a group text about uh, Mach Speed. They were talking about they have missiles that's uh, Mach 10 speed. And Mach 10, which is 10, uh, 10 speed of sound, equals mm -hmm. 7,672.691 miles per hour. So they're going to have this technology. Uh, it seemed like a couple years ago they had the nuclear capability to reach their target in 30 minutes. Now it seems like they can get here in 15 minutes. Hell, it might be here in five minutes when that day comes, man. So they 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 got the artillery to deal with these other nations, man. And they keep giving these warnings to the United States, even with this whole uh, rumor of them going into the Ukraine. Hey, United States, back away. You don't want this smoke. Mm -hmm. That's what these Russians are about, man. You know, so they're going back into that old I don't give a F spirit, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and that um if I could say that great company too, mm -hmm. those are the allies, man. Right. Okay. Hey, those are allies gonna join forces. Um Yeah, they're allies. Yeah, they mm -hmm. yeah, their allies gonna gonna join join each other, man. 
Against who? We all know who. Mm-hmm. Babylon the Great, man. Okay? Now, um, want me to continue? Yeah. Con, this is verse 5. It says, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them, all of them with shell and helmet. So, you got Persia, which is Iran, and you got African nations, which is Ethiopia and Libya. That's still nations here today. Mm-hmm. So, that lets you know the Bible is faithful and true, man. Mm-hmm. You got nations that are mentioned... Thousands of years ago, and they're the same countries, even the Euphrates. That's mm-hmm. mentioned in the Bible. That's on the map. You know, so these these other countries are with, uh, you know, Russia. You know, like Iran. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Russia is basically the big brother of Iran. Mm-hmm. If, 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 if any other country want to smoke, they look to the big brother of Russia like, what y'all going to do? Mm-hmm. You know, so all these countries are joined together. Even a couple of years ago, um, Russian troops were sent to Ethiopia, man. You know, and best believe Libya want that smoke too. After what happened to Gaddafi, mm-hmm. you know, Gaddafi wanted the gold standard, but they, the uh, the, the elite banking family, they won with it, man. Mm-hmm. So best believe these other countries want to smoke with the United States. The scriptures say, uh, "Let the weak say I am strong." They want to lick at the United States, man. Babylon the Great, and rightfully so, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come, verse six. It says, "Gomer and all his bands, the house of." Togoma of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. And Gober goes into uh, Turkey because Turkey, which we still think, you know, it's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they're still part of NATO. I'll look it up real quick. But they're slowly breaking away from that. They they join their allegiance with, uh, you know, Russia, man. They don't want no part of the United States, man. What's that guy's name? Um, I forgot his name. But he's basically the president of Turkey, man. He wants no part of uh, uh, Russia, man. I, 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 I could, correct me if I'm wrong. They still could be part of it, but they're slowly breaking away. It says there. It says real quick, sir, that they are part of NATO. Mm-hmm. That they joined in uh, February of 1952. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I believe that they are. Yeah, but they, they, hey, the scriptures, say, hey, they're gonna break away from all that, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you even see that with. Um, uh, uh, the EU, you know, mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, England got away okay. from um, before this whole pestilence came. England got away from the EU January thirty first, twenty twenty. Now you got France trying to get away mm-hmm. the Brexit. So this is another uh, fulfillment of prophecy, man. All these countries are going to slowly uh, get away from the involvement of the United States, man, and they're going to shoot missiles on this bitch, man. And you people going to get caught off guard out here, man. Yep. You can tell him, bro. John, verse 7, it says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. After many days thou shalt be visited, in the latter years thou shalt come unto the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of my, uh, so like it, get, gathered out of many people Against the mountains of Israel, with which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely. All of them. Yeah, we can stop right there, man. But that's basically going into the uh, land of Israel being invaded, man. Right? Because believe it or not, the so-called Holy Land, which you know that place is defiled, because the real inhabitants are there. That place is going to get hit up as well, man. You know, America ain't going to be the only place that's going to hit up. It's going to be Atlanta, Israel, man. Look what's going on over there, man. Kosher pork, mm-hmm. uh, uh, alphabet parades, you know, things of that nature, man. Men uh, uh, circumcising uh, babies with their mouths and stuff. Just all types of uh, uh, man, manner of wickedness got, over there, man. Got Pink City. Yeah. Got all types of things, man. <clears throat> and that's why... Um, when we was in Joel, it said he's going to gather all the nations. Mm-hmm. See, right now what's going on, you have different nations like drawing the soldiers back and designated here, designated there. Man, it's going to come to a point in time where it's just through the spirit, man. The Lord's going to return and everybody's going to come to and join, you know, one to another and go against America. And the Lord's going to be there to intervene with those missiles, man, and his chariots, man. All right, the Lord of hosts, okay? And um, that's all I had to say, bro. Yeah, uh, brothers and precepts. No, nah, that's good right there. Um, I got one. This yeah, is uh, I'm gonna get it. I'm okay. ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. This is uh Jeremiah 51 and um 11. Make bright the arrows 
gather the shields, the Lord hath raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So, uh, yeah, the king of the Medes is the, is the Russians, man. And those arrows, they aren't talking about your ordinary arrows, man. They're talking about those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Mm -hmm. And Russia, along with these other nations, because it tells you in Jeremiah uh, 50. Matter of fact, I get it. Um, I think it's Jeremiah 50 and uh, 11. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. So once these missiles are shot off, man, it ain't gonna be like, oops, my bad, we, we made a mistake. No, it's it's the fulfillment of the Lord's prophecy to destroy Babylon the Great, the land of confusion. You even got uh, Kate, uh, Bruce Jenner, I'm gonna call him that, Bruce Jenner, who changed himself into a sheep. She's trying to uh, run for uh, governor of California, man. This place oh, is full man. of confusion and, and wickedness, man. This place needs to get hit up, man. And two thirds of our people, they're gonna find out the hard way, man. You know. So that's that's all the precepts I had. John, that's, that's all I got. What it was. All right. So hey, hey, another uh, lesson about prophecy, man. The scriptures tell us to watch as well as pray. The scriptures tell us to be uh, in the spirit of prophecy like our Lord Yahweh Shai, uh told us in uh, Revelation uh, 19 and 10. So we're just going to keep feeding you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans with this prophecy, man. Because in the midst of prophecy, it keeps us up going. It keeps us upbeat. It keeps us having hope in the Lord because we need to be delivered from this shithole, man. You know, as you can hear in the background, as we got into, Jake is in his folly, man. But when shit gets real... You ain't gonna know where the answers is coming from, and we didn't we didn't told you time and time again from our apostles and elders, man. So, hey, with that, once again, we want to give all praises to the heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakradash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Rule Well, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and truth sincerity. Till next time, Shalom and the Bible Ball. Shalom, Shalom, Bible Ball, Bible Ball.